Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to do a product review of this LaCrosse weather station. Uh, this is the kind of weather station you'd have in your house. It has an outdoor module. This is the main display for the unit. We'll be taking all this out in a minute showing you more detail. And uh, there's a small module that goes outside your house that, so that it will give you uh, indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity. It also has a smaller module here that you can put somewhere else in your house. We're thinking about putting it next to the bed. So when we wake up in the morning, we'll know what the temperature is outside. So let's open this up. We'll talk more about the features and get it mounted and working. Now we've got everything out of the package. Uh, we've got the instructions and I have read through these briefly. I got to read through them more, but I have read through them briefly and they seem to be very well written, which is a very pleasant surprise. Uh, most of the instructions we get are not well written. Got the little uh, power supply that you plug into the wall to operate this unit. Uh, it, this will operate on batteries. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this is the outside module that we'll be mounting outside our house to detect the temperature and humidity outside the house. And this is the little module that you can set somewhere else in your house. It just displays a few basic time or temperature and humidity kind of things. Uh, but this is the main display here. It's where we do most of the setup and it's where most of the dis or information is displayed. And also, this is the back of the package. I will scan this. I'm not going to read all that to you because it just takes too long. But I will scan it. If you go to my website, DIYWithWayne.com, there will be a link to this product. And I will post a picture of the back of that if you'd like to read the details on the back of the package. And if you go down uh, below in the description that we put with this product, there will be a link directly to the page for this product at DIYWithWayne.com. All right, so at this point, let's put the batteries in here and start our setup. At this point, we've put the batteries in our outside unit, our secondary little module, and the main display. And to get started, the first thing you do is pull these covers off. Uh, it's just a protective thing here, if I can get my finger under it. Just pull that off and discard it. Now, like I said, we've already put our batteries in here, and as you can see, the display is dark. That's normal. Um, one of the buttons on the back side, which is right behind here, I know you can't see it, but that's where they're at. I put a picture up here in the corner of what it looks like. But there's a button that's called set. If you press set, it turns the display on. And now you can see what the display you know, has. But because right now we're running off batteries, it doesn't stay illuminated all the time. It will turn off after a short period of time. And there it's already turned back off. Uh, so if you're running on batteries and you want to see what the temperature and time and all that is, you have to press the set button, which is right in the center behind, and it'll turn on and show you all the information. At this point, we got everything powered up, and we did go through the settings. And to do the settings, right back here, there's a button called set. You, if you press that, it'll let you walk through all the settings. And the only thing we changed was the date. Uh, we didn't change the time. We didn't change anything else. So if we hadn't have done anything in setup, it still would be displaying exactly like it is now and everything is correct. And the atomic clock did upset or set up the, the time accurately. And I, it would have set up the, uh, the month and day as well if we had not changed that, but we did set that. So you don't really have to go through setup to use this thing, but we did and everything's working now. As you can see in the little uh, extra module, it says it's 42 degrees. It says it's 42 degrees, which is the same thing it says it's the outdoor temperature. And I know it's real small print, but down here at the bottom it has a time, inside temperature, and uh, I think that's inside barometric pressure. I can't read it too good right here. But anyway, back to the, the main display. Up here in the top corner, we've got barometric pressure. Of course, as that goes up, the weather's getting pretty. As it goes down, it's getting wet. This over here is history of barometric pressure. And uh, of course, we just hadn't had this on with just a little bit, but this, these bars go back 48 hours. This was 48 hours ago, which obviously in our case, it wasn't booted up then. But in time, 
that bar graph will show you what the barometric pressure has been doing over the last 48 hours. And if those bars are getting taller, then it tends to indicate the weather's getting nicer. If they're getting shorter, the barometric pressure is going down, and that's when the weather's going to likely get you know, worse and likely have rain. The center here is really neat. Uh, the, the little design down here at the bottom will change with the seasons. This up here, like right now, we got a little cloud, we got the sun. The, the day's a little bit partly cloudy, but mostly sunny. Um, as it figures that it's more cloudy, the clouds will cover the sun partly. Uh, if the temperature is below freezing and there's precipitation, it'll show snow falling, or it may show rain if it's warmer. But it changes for a lot of different things as the weather changes, and that's kind of neat. Now over here, this is moon phase. That updates main, or automatically with the phase of the moon, so you know what the moon phase is currently. You got the outside uh, uh, barometer, not barometer, but humidity right here. Down below, you got outside temperature. Now on the other side, you got basically the same things for inside. Uh, this is obviously not moon phase like we got over here, but that shows um, comfort level inside your house based off temperature and humidity. This is your indoor humidity. This is your indoor temperature. Uh, and then down here at the bottom, you got your uh, AM, PM, time, month, day, day of the week. And the little icon right there tells you whether you've got a signal for the uh, atomic clock so that it can update stuff as necessary. So that's about it for the display. So uh, at this point, we're ready to uh, put our module outdoors and get everything finished up. And now for my final review of this LaCrosse wireless weather station. Um, I give it an A+. Plus. Um, like I said, I'll scan this, which is the back side of the package. It has a lot of details, and that will be on our website. And in the description, I'll put a link directly to the page for this product, which is at DIYWithWayne.com. And um, like I said, in the description, there'll be a direct link to that page. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the instructions manual. I'm not going to read this because it would just take too long, and you would be bored to death with it. But uh, when we went through the setup, it was so easy. It was just unbelievably easy. And if we had not gone through the setup, I mean, we really didn't change anything that mattered. We changed the date, but the, the atomic clock part of this would change that anyway, even if we hadn't done it. So we didn't even really have to go through setup to have it working just as it is right now. We did take the uh, uh, outside part and we mounted it on the side of the house. Uh, we've done that and uh, everything is working fine. Our little extra module is showing us our outside temperature there. Uh, but I really like this little uh, outdoor or wireless weather station because it does have the atomic clock that keeps the clock accurate on its own. You don't have to fool with it. Daylight savings time, it updates for that. This thing's got a lot of nice features. Uh, so like I said, I give it an A plus rating and if you need you know, something of this nature, there's a lot of different models and a lot of different brand names online. I like the LaCrosse brand because it's a fairly well-known brand for weather stations. And I feel like I could get support if I needed it. So anyway, that's my review. And uh, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a like on our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel. Those things help us grow to help us bring you more videos uh, do-it-yourself repairs around the house and product rev uh, uh, reviews like this but we'd really appreciate it if you do those things for us but anyway thank you for visiting and we hope you have a great day